The Patia City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. ...to get together at Bell's In Love Cafe and uh, we turned up and I thought and these four ladies were there and with their artwork, some of their artwork and I thought, you know, this would be a really interesting morning at the club, not realising how much work it would be for me. Right? Putting the PowerPoints, etc., together. This is probably the biggest PowerPoint in the history of the club because, of course, it's very visual. It's all about artwork. All right, so uh, four ladies, the four artists, just stand up where you are. Just a round of applause for our four talented international ladies. They all, I'm waiting for the start of the PowerPoint to come up. I'm crossing my fingers. Da, 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 da. All right, Irina, come up. We're having them up one at a time. Oh, on, on your table, courtesy of the Pattaya Mail, is the newspaper in which Art Rose's article about her talk came out. Feel free to take one. It's also got her artwork. So these are our four lovely ladies. Uh, Irina, in order of talking, Irina, Sri Roth from Cambodia, Elvira from Germany, and of course, Rose. Who was here for Rose's amazing talk a few weeks ago? Wow, so many people missed out on one of the most amazing, no, the most amazing talk in the history of the club. So Irina, now this is, as I said, we met at this Bells in Love Inn Cafe. Bells in Love Cafe, thank you, Martin. And uh, this was the ladies. The first, Irina. Now, Irina, uh, excuse me, I've never done quite this before. She, because of her Russian, she's from Russia, she wants me to read something, okay? It's brief. Some of her work has been in inspired by the tarot, the tarot cards. So, see, these are the tarot cards we're used to. And she has used that idea of mystical symbolism as an inspiration for her art. This, these are her words. I don't know how to perfectly, do you want it in a Russian accent? I don't know how to perfectly tell you it in English, but I hope that it will sound as good as in my native language. Art is in our blood. We can't break our genes. My ancestors were creators and healers. My descendants are creators and physicians. What else am I supposed to do? This is a joke, okay? <laughs> In kindergarten, I only painted portraits. Psychology was fascinating to me, even then. At school, changes in my surrounding reality switched my creative energy to music and dance. In 1995, I bought an apartment in the house of Pushkin's relatives. Perhaps his genius helped me. During the renovation, I saw the winter landscape on the primed wall and drew it immediately. In 1997, my first exhibition was held in Petersburg. There is the certificate of the exhibition. A lot of people, of creative people in the process of working experience the condition of samadhi. This is like, you know you've heard about runners high? This can be writer's high, or painter's high, or artist's high, samadhi. Beauty will save the world. 
Guys, where would we be without the beautiful women or men, if you like that? Everyone knows it, but it often forgets. Whatever we do, every manifestation of beauty wakes the creators in us. We evolve through the power of love. We are what we see, what we hear, and what we consume. You can really see the uh, tarot influences in this. Painting, astrology, psychology, and cooking are my favorite hobbies. So you can see those coming together in this. Did I, did I forget to mention about not surfing the web during the talk? Did I forget to mention that? No. Okay, cool. Take good care of yourself. Thank you for listening. Irina. And again, oh, don't go away. Don't go away yet, Irina. Don't leave me alone. I'll cry. So you can really see here this tarot, what she calls the tarot influence. It's like archetypal figures from the subconscious. Jung and people like that were very interested in the tarot and all these images that come out of the subconscious. Can you see okay? Do you want the lights down a bit? I'm not sure if we can. Can we get the lights down a bit? Someone, John or someone? I know there's a way to lower the lights. Uh, the big fella's going to try. Wow. And she's got some of, the, oh, that's, yeah, now that, where it was is good. Yeah, lower the lights, mate, where you did before. Nobody wants to look at my ugly mug. Yeah, good, much better. Really like this one. This one's very erotic. We do have 540 pictures, so... Yeah, this one. This one's cool. You'll know one theme you, I want you to watch out for from these artists is the use of the female form. Have a look at that. That is wonderful. This is very Ganesha. Yeah. Yeah, this is very the dancing god of Ganesha. You'll see lots of statues about that. And that's very, very Ganesha. Oh, thank you, Irina. Thank you. Spasiba. Sreroth, you're up. Uh, she can talk English, so she gets a mic. She, Sreroth is from Cambodia. How long have you been painting for, Shrey Roth? I do it for one year. One year. One year. Like, and Rose is like seven months. And one of the things you do is murals, right? Yes, I do like mural style. Yeah, just here. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, M murals? Yeah. <laughs> Keep talking. Right. Keep oh, talking. yeah, yeah. Uh, I do like mural style, and all the pictures is because I like architect and the pictures need to be like uh, facts and the common area and the design all stop off the area so all have to be mixed together like lightning and this is a mural you did for someone's condo yeah yes I do for the one of my friend then he renovated apartment and he want to do I could uh, design of the wall, like uh, decoration, but he don't like, and he asked for the picture. So, so, and he he wanted something that was in like Santorini, like like a Greek island. Yes, the the picture is um, sorry, the pictures that he likes Santorini, and I pick up like ten pictures of Santorini, including one. Yes, it's how the apartment and the where he looked from the cooking. We have a video of it, which I hope is going to load. Yeah, here we go. 
He's, he loves this, by the way. He raves about it. And one of the things he was so impressed is she, she brought them in to look at it. And she said, look, I, I'm not as tall as you. Are you seeing the step perspective of the steps from your height, right? Wonderful. Yeah, this, this is something about the expect, expected because the way when I'm learning, people have differ, different like high or tall. So the owner is a bit higher than me. So the way he look it is if I'm looking like this, but he look it, it's going to be more downer. So I always expect from the light, light uh, landscape, the little bit up eye, yes. So She's got a great sense of perspective as you'll see more. Is this a, this is a mural? The, this is a, uh, yes, on a mirror, on a wood. Mm. And for the Aloha restaurant at which, the which, res which restaurant? Aloha. Aloha, yes. the Aloha restaurant, okay. And this one? Yes, the same, same one. Mm -hmm. For the landscape. This one is project for Sealand Brewery. Uh, the it's on Teprisset Road. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just not too far from where I live. I'll have to, I'll have to go and check it out. Here's some more from this brewery. Great sense of perspective she puts into these. You'd swear she was starting to go up a staircase, right? That's a great effect, great effect, great photo. And again, this is not the brewery, of course, this is a mural for the Sealand Brewery. Yes, this is how full look in the, that on the ground floor. And this one I created because this is uh, include to the story of the uh, brewery. The brewery was it opened like a hundred years ago, and then during for hundred years they closed for twenty years, and they have original picture the warehouse before a hundred years ago. So I do the warehouse, and the on the way coming out to the highway and f coming out of the frame. So it's like the brewery now it's come back. They they open it again, start to open again, even during close for twenty years. So it's a little bit include personality. Anybody feel like a beer now? I'm starting to feel like a beer myself. A few, pe few people putting their hand up. <laughs> yeah, and this, uh, this again, this is still Sealand Brewery. I have to go there just to look at the, uh, look at this great sense of perspective here. Fantastic. Yeah, great photo. Is that still a brewery? No, this is apartment for the apartment. Oh, for a, another yes, apartment. apartment. There you go. You want to make your, your condo stand down? Oh, that's the uh, new... A brewery. That one's a brewery? brewery Oops, yes. sorry. Oh, how did the picture come in? Oh, and the brewery again. Now, this is a, a... golf place. Golf? They play golf place, yeah. Whereabouts is, is this mural? This is how the... Uh, look. This is the main thing, it's about the color light, lightning because this, they use projector. So if I'm doing paint like all the lightning of the sky or some lightning to the picture, for the gold place, use projector, it's not so good. So the lightning keep warm, so I use like V. So the V life coming. Right, so yeah. so, so you paint it off a projection on the wall, yeah. but you have to fiddle with the lighting. So no, 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 I do, I do not. Uh, use projector to paint. Oh, I okay. just free hand paint it. Oh, okay, cool. So all the golfers are missing out on these shots of the golfers, right? And you also do these. This is very Escher, right? M. C. Escher. Yeah, you, yeah. Uh, yes. I doing. This is a long time ago that I start use start to use feel the the pencil, feel the hand, feel moving. Yes. I love this because kind of a strategy of responsibility, how the way you manage yourself to be responsible if you're doing something mistake. And this is also very Escher yeah. inspired by it the is. hands coming out of the picture and fixing up the... It's never give up something. You have problem and you never give up. It's about life. Oh, cool. Yeah. There you go. We've yeah. all had cracked lives. Um, this I do myself that I thought I love explore, I love to learn, I love to move. So this is how I feel like, oh, this is a good picture. I do, I want to do myself. That's it to remind me. 
to find the way who I am. I do everything, I'm doing a lot of things. So in, um, this is how just try to find yourself, who you are. Yeah, I yeah. think that's a great metaphor for uh, our search for ourselves. Fantastic. Yeah. And this, this is, is pretty creepy. Yeah, this is the first time I painting try to be look 3D. <laughs> when at school, yeah, and I saw on a YouTube and um, showing, I said, oh, look, I want to try how it look. Yeah, and this this is a uh, oil or acrylic? It's please. acrylic. Yeah. Right, right. No. This one's very dynamic. Is this oil or acrylic? This one acrylic, mm. acrylic, and make some newspaper on top. Because she doesn't just do the murals, of course she does. Yes, that's it on the canvas and for the kitchen restaurant. Oh, so this was done for the restaurant, for a restaurant? Yes, for the restaurant. Oh, yeah, I've heard about the Cajun restaurant here. Is, yeah, I haven't been to it. Has anybody been to the Cajun restaurant here? Is it good? I oh, haven't been yet? We've got to check it out. And that is my dog. <laughs> yes, this, she's got some great photos of her and the dog, but, you know. From language? Let the good times roll in French. Is that the Cajun restaurant yes, still? Yes, for the Cajun. Cajun is like French, yeah, Creole. And this one, uh, this is on canvas as well, yes? Yes, it's on canvas. It's oil color. Do you, does it have a title? The title name of the picture? The title, it's about dream. It's about dream. So, uh, like, you make yourself for a dream where you want to be, but in, you don't know what is going to be happening. It's... Mm. Just, yeah. Nice bridge, but a uh, rickety. But you just feel oh. like, uh, example, like I want to go here. I want to go. I want to do this. You have picture in your mind, but for the end, it's it's not a real picture. And this is very abstract. Yes, the it's the balance of color. Is this the Cajun still restaurant? Everyone see the hand. Mm. Most of people, they don't see the hand. Yeah? Oh, done that one. More? Yes, this one. Is this another mural? Yeah, on a canvas. Where is it? Where, mural? The, the canvas, on a canvas. Oh, it's canvas. Yeah, All canvas. Right. Wow. It's past time, future, and present. Wow. Who's this? Um, <laughs> this is my pitch. <laughs> this is what I'm start to use play with color for the first time I start to feel how it's color gonna be look like. So yeah. Oh, I can see a resemblance. This is talking about chroma. Cambodia the hundred years of chroma. What's this is a football one. What was this for? Did uh, you he's no, he's not football. He's not football, but he team he friend of the group it's a, uh he's I mean the work in a group of football guy. And I knowing him also he's gave me the picture and he said I love the wolf, do whatever you do. So I learn about personality of he are so I create this in with oil colour. A little bit like abstract. So you were commissioned to do a portrait of him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So he gave me the real picture. So on the top is Angkor Wat. It's Cambodia, and I use different the color and create it by look anything. I just create how to feel different. So is that in, in your, hanging in your room? Is it? No, no, it's not my room. It's sold out. Angkor <laughs> Wat, an impression of Angkor Wat. Yeah. Oh, we had that one. Uh, that is a flower, honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, too much porn for me. That picture, it was, I, I do, I love music, 
So I play music and just paint, feel the value of music and dreaming. Yes. And this is you doing the mural. So, huge round of applause for Sri Roth. I hope I got that right. Thank you. Wow. One year she's been doing this. It's, a, it's amazing, amazing work. Thank you. And Elvira. She's like the, the uh, head, of, head of the mafia of artists, international artists. All right, here we go. This is a, this is a video. So, Elvira is German. Anybody else German speaking here? Some people who speak German? <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, she wrote something for me to read in English. I started with the pencil in 1996, which fascinates me more than colour. It's so honest. Creativity and art have always slumbered in me and one day transported itself from the inside to the outside, and that tremendously. I have a few courses documented, but actually I'm an autodidact. I taught myself. I love that word. I don't get, use it often enough. I have a joke about it, but I'm not going to tell it. I have a few... Oh, no, I spent many, many years with my children in the riding club and was able to study horses and my children had and still have horses. I actually, we're friends on Facebook and she posts her art and I, I actually said, how do you do such fantastic horses 
from memory, and this is the reason. Females are my top priority. Lion, well-formed bodies that fascinate. I agree with that. And let's be honest, for an artist, a bit of provocation is also part of it. What is mysticism for me since I have been doing yoga for many years and am able to see things differently through the third eye? Spiritually and with a lot of imagination, I believe that there is more than meets the eye. And in the end, art has always helped me to get over bumps in life and to understand. For me, the play with the light and shadows is very important. It makes pictures come alive and play with the reflections. Thank God there are shades of grey. So you can see what a wonderful job she does with horses. Just stunning, uh, you know, really stunning, capturing the sort of energy of a horse. And not just horses, but other animals as well. The, the details, these are all done with pencil, right? It's going to work. I know it's going to work. Ah, one with colour. <laughs> it's about the only one I've ever seen her posted with colour. She does great boats and water scenes as well. See the reflections? She was talking about the use of reflections. You know, the Impressionist art movement started with Monet's lilies and the reflections in the water, etc. And she was talking about her fascination with the female form. She doesn't... She doesn't hesitate to do provocative pictures and stuff. Anybody like these pictures besides me? Any guys? <laughs> Spot the heterosexuals? And this one I think I really like this one because to me this is like a 1950s Hollywood glamour star or something. Can you, you see why I say that, right? If there's something 1950s about it. Really nice. It's like a Hollywood star. And this is talking about the mysticism aspect. Again, you often use women in the mystic ones, you know, the power of women. So you can see this one, it's terrific, like the astrological thing influence that Irina mentioned. Like again, the, the, the woman thing, and you can see the symbols like the Indian feathers, etc. Wow. And this one, I. Maybe the figure down the bottom is male, but certainly he's being overpowered by the glory of women. And I think most guys, a lot of the guys here have been overpowered by the glory of women sometimes in their lives. And this is some of her many art exhibitions, etc. Now, this was an exhibition that Martin organised of Elvira's work at Bell's Love Inn Cafe. And I don't think Rose was keen for me to take her there, but I dragged her to the opening, and this is her. And that leads us into the talk with Rose. Thank you, Donka. Thanks, Martin. Rose. Are you enjoying this morning? It's different, isn't it? So, who was here for Rose's talk? Show me your hands. Come on, if you're here, come put your hand up. You're never to be forgotten. So, she went to, this is the 1st of February this year, and we took Rose, I took Rose there, and she was fascinated by the artwork. So what happened to you at, during that, at that art show? <laughs> yeah, I'm very interesting and I want, I want to draw like this and I want to painting like this. So she, she first said to me, uh, uh, she just wanted to sketch. We bought a little sketchbook and then almost instantly she started doing watercolours. And this is one of hers in the very first two weeks of just starting to paint and something. So something touched her in that and thought, I, I want to do this, I can do this, right? That's an amazing job just in the first couple of weeks. On, in, on a sketchbook, by the way. 
And I had to stop her doing it on both sides to save money. <laughs> and she said, I said, you know we could sell these. And she said, what, 10 baht, right? I, think, I said, no, I think we can get 11 baht, right? <laughs> yeah, come on. Should have bought mine quicker. So again, this is from the very early days, just trying to capture things from her village, etc. And actually afterwards, we've got her little sketchbook from that period. Come and have a flick through it, and you can see some of her early sketches. Again, this is in the first few weeks. And we moved her on to, to, bigger, to bigger canvases and so forth. And of course, those of you who are here uh, had the privilege of listening to Rose talk about Alone My Life as an Abandoned Baby in Myanmar, where we featured some of her artwork, including, of course, this one. So, the, you know, the, the the newspapers on your table are the article that came out from that which I wrote and uh, people even who came to the talk read the article and still cry and stuff. So it's a very, very powerful story. So I encouraged Rose to draw some of her, paint some of the experiences from that. And this is like her impression of a, and she's only operated in watercolour so far. You want to tell what this is about? <laughs> she, she wants to have, a, have it easy. She's going to pretend she can't speak English now. This is her bringing you know, water back from the, to her house, her and her stepsister, what it's like to ex have lots of motion sickness like she had even up until when I met her. She doesn't have it now. Yeah, some of you will remember that, what that's about. The, when she was, you know, again, I won't go through it for people who aren't familiar, but she's had a fit, a, <laughs> yeah, these are pictures of her journey through life. This is when she was working as a wharfie for three years on a the Chinese river, unloading bags of... Look how tiny she is, you know? Those in Australia know what a wharfie is. They, they all, all unload boats, right? So this tiny woman was doing this, the smallest person there doing this. Unbelievable. And this is a nice picture from a story about some Chinese people who actually took her in and helped her when she was on the run. And this resulted in this this article, which I, I totally salute uh, Peter Malhotra for doing as a, in the center of the newspaper in full color because you're so touched by her story. And of course, but she, doesn't, she hasn't just painted traumatized scenes from her own life. She's done what they call this Earth Woman series, fantasy women. And at her talk, she, this was the first picture she ever sold. She's a professional artist now. She sold a picture. Yeah, yeah go girl. And uh, he actually bought a second one. And that's, pri he moved his other uh, artwork around to give it a prior place in his studio apartment. Uh, so this is some of her fantasy Earth Woman series. You can see some of those live here. Notice the face looking down at her in the, from the sky. I really like this one. I think this is great. And this is actually my favorite from the whole series, the Moon Woman series, the Moon Woman. Oh, now there's a story here. This is, this is a very recent picture. This is only a couple of days old, okay? So Rose was having a bad day. And she, I can so, gentlemen, when you're a woman, your wife is upset with you, basically this is how she appears to you, isn't it? Right. <laughs> David down the front's hiding his face from his lady right now. <laughs> so this was her, when <laughs> after she got upset with me, 
it was a serious offense. I'd been walking around the condo while she was painting <laughs> and uh, the price of being with artists. And this is her impression of how she is when she's upset with me. So there you go. <laughs> now, some news. I, I have a lot of friends. I have, I'm very, very good friends with an Australian guy who used to be the art critic for the Bangkok Post. And I, you know, introduced him to Rose's art and Rose's story. And we went up on Sunday and we met with these two people. Now, the guy is called Vasan. He is what a very, very famous Thai artist, does political art, protest art. And this is his lady, and they, they run art galleries together. You'll see, a, he has, for instance, has an entry in Wikipedia. And some of his art resells for like a million baht and stuff now. And she came up with a brilliant, uh, uh, and I sent her Rose's talk and the article, and she looked at that and listened to it. She was very, very moved, she cried. And uh, as virtually everybody does. Anyway, she, uh, she came up with a brief, they wanted to do it. We were talking about Rose doing an art gallery exhibition in Bangkok. And she came up with a totally brilliant idea that Rose should do her talk in the art show to correspond with International Women's Day. Perfect idea, worth the trip to Bangkok for that. So they're going to host, uh, the, we're, we're going to have an exhibition of her work in Bangkok at this gallery. It's called the uh, Rebel Art Space. And they like to have art that has a message and protest and, and raises uh, big issues and stuff, which of course Rose's art and story does. And another friend of mine, the friend who, uh, who bought the two pictures, had a totally brilliant idea that we should, for instance, expanding on the idea, people who come into the exhibition should get a Q code which downloads Rose's talk and they can go from one picture to the other listening to that part of a talk that relates to the picture, right? So I think that's a totally brilliant idea. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, for International Women's Day. And that is such a brilliant idea in so many ways because media is looking for, taught for interesting subjects relevant to international women's rights. So, all the ladies, come on the stage. Come on, Irina, straight off. Yeah, got to walk back up. Come on. Now, don't, that's only part of the morning because you've got to actually come and look at the artwork live after the meeting finishes. The ladies will be here. Some of it will be for sale. I don't know what the price is. You can always make an offer. And uh, the other thing is we have a little bonus. Come on, Martin, come on up. Quick, we, we're going to have... A, Martin saw this and said, oh, I want to get involved. I want to show some of my artistic photos. So... And you, you, Hello. Friends to take so closer. No, my smartphone. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, these pictures now with smartphone, but the oldest one I take, I made with professional cameras. All right. What is this, by the way? I couldn't recognize. I don't remember. I see some light in some class, and I think, wow. Oh, cool. Is yeah. that is this your photo or? Is this is also a long time ago. It's um. 
uh, leaf from some flower. And, uh, and, very and what makes it special is doing it in black and white, right? Yeah. Yeah. This I make some project, uh, so uh, four elements. This is one of these pictures from these four elements you can see, arrow. Hmm. Yeah, some picture I walk around and I see and I made in Chiang Mai. This is very interesting. This, this was a, a test shooting for some, she is some model and she won pictures for her book. So we need something special and then we go some special place, some old army mm. point. This reminds me of there. some of Shrey Roth's art, like the jigsaw puzzle and stuff. Yeah, this was photo shooting for some hairdresser. He won some special pictures and he bring people and we make pictures. Some model in Germany. Oh, so you, you used to do professional photography? Special for models for the book and for a test. This was some, uh, uh, how to say, mood show? Uh, fashion show. Ah, oh, fashion so show. A little okay. bit crazy fashion show, yeah. My son and friends, we was in some campground in Italy, and they say, oh, we want to do Titanic. I say, okay, do Titanic, <laughs> and make picture. <laughs> All right, the show must go. Yeah. My heart must go on. This is also a very long time ago from some uh, uh, mask, so. I can't explain in English. Did, she, did she put that on? Yeah, that's she makes some okay. little color. So she make harlequin. But this again is reflections. No, this is some picture I, I buy some a Lomo, some special camera. I have four lenses, and oh. they make these pictures in 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 one second. Four pictures in wow. line yeah, in, in Venice. Oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I was some party. <laughs> yeah, what drugs Crazy were you party. on? Okay, yeah, let's shoot the teddy bear. Uh, she was some singer in some musical, and she wanted also pictures for her book. You must a little bit up to make. Uh, uh, ah, she wants. She was uh, some some uh, uh, fitness woman. She wants some special picture from herself. Model for test book, test shooting for her book. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah, she was very special. Please, can you go back one step? Young girl, we, we have some birthday party. Uh, she was angel and devil. Oh and yeah, she you can see the drills. The and she only, I, I make some pictures, and she only close her eyes for one moment. I say, wow. Yeah, catch her. No man. makeup, nothing. Totally mm. natural. <laughs> some crazy evening. <laughs> I can't explain. I say model again in this special location. Oh, that's a naughty dress. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. And... Uh, is there any exhibition happening in Bell's In Love Cafe happening? You got another exhibition happening at the cafe? Okay, maybe. Okay, cool. Maybe they'll have an exhibition featuring all four women. That'd be great. And now, wanna come up, Patrick. Come on, you're up, mate. New PowerPoint, I think. 